I'm Janae Osterhout, Boston Globe culture columnist and resident troublemaker. I cover identity and social justice through the lens of pop culture and the arts. If you don't know Sarah Lewis's name, you will know. We're back here at Harvard, where we met. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I was one of your first students in Vision and Justice. Yes. Pretty much changed the trajectory of my, my learning at Harvard and what I decided to focus on in that year. You know, we're just days away from the Vision and Justice convening. This week is huge. Sarah Lewis's class has gone from an issue of Vision and Justice and Aperture, and now it is a two-day convening. She's bringing together Ava DuVernay and Carrie Mae Weems and Teju Cole and Wynton Marsalis and all of these great black creative thinkers to basically teach the role of vision and representation in justice. Something I think about often when I revisit um, seminar in class that I had with you is the impact of Frederick Douglass and thought pictures and the idea of counter-narrative and black beauty as a form of resistance. Mm -hmm. The medium of photography and the moving image now has this dual path. It was used to honor human life, but it was also used to, as a weapon to denigrate it. Through the history of racial science, we see how images were used as tools to just make normal the racial hierarchy that we're still working to um, break apart today. So it's important to understand the history so that we can shift and create counter narratives to push back against that work. I can't count the number of times I've gone in places wearing Jordans and a hoodie and someone has just dismissed me because they think I'm some trope that they saw on a TV show and they don't understand like, no, I can do both. I can be Cardi and Michelle. There's no nuance for many marginalized people when it comes to representation, and it affects how others view our personhood in America. And I just really want people to think about those things and just to understand the work that has been put in to getting us here. You know, you put so much work into paying tribute to so many artists and thinkers and creators, and I just hope you know that so many of us that have learned from you and have met you are trying our best to pay tribute to you through our work and what you're doing with the convening to me is like creating our own world's fair um, so thank you for helping us not just get a seat at the table but making the table so. <laughs> making me cry <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a legacy action that happens this weekend i don't think people realize it now but they will 